we spoke a little bit after the game the other day, but it feels like you're just generally more comfortable, you know, coming into this year. You talked about the desire to get stronger, but I mean, even from the adjustment from the beginning when yeah. you talk about finishing, just tell me how kind of everything's come all together for you this year. Um, I think the biggest thing is the team we have. It makes it so much easier having um, new guys like AJ and John that can get a bucket whenever and Connor coming off the bench and then uh, obviously all the starters, they can, they can really score it. So there's not really one guy you can focus on, whereas last year there's kind of three or four main guys last year. But um, another thing is I think confidence is every year you get a little more confident. Um, that's just naturally how it goes. So I think those two things combined have been huge. With the all sets, I mean, some of them being four out with you being the inside guy, I mean, yeah. it doesn't seem like they're doubling you at the rate they doubled you last year. Do you mm -hmm. think that that's kind of alluded to the comfortability? Or? Yeah, no, that goes back to what I was just saying. You can't really choose one guy to go at because then someone else will beat you, and I think that's what makes a good team. And um, it's credit to all those other guys. And um, myself, we play, we play so well as a team, and um, it's shown this year, and hopefully we can keep it going. Passing, I mean, that's always kind of been your forte, but Coach yeah. Guard, something he said always throughout your career, he wants you to be more aggressive. Mm -hmm. He wants you to, you know, balance the passing with the scoring. Yeah. I know you're talking about your teammates, but what about that one-on-one -on -one opportunity mm -hmm. has kind of been able to let you yeah. score more this year? For me, whenever I'm one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to try to go score now. Um, I kind of view it as disrespectful when they leave me one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm going to try to go get a bucket. But um, I think the big thing is, like you said, balance. Balance when you need, you know you need to pass it to, to when you know you need to be aggressive. So I think that's the big key is balance. Last year, you guys didn't have as much depth. Now you got Nolan, you got Gilly, obviously, still here. Do you think that's kind of helped you maybe a little more as well in terms of you getting your necessary rest, you guys kind of playing in different mm -hmm. spurts? How does the depth not only impact the, like when you're off the court, but also when you're on the court? Yeah, no, compared to last year, we have a ton more depth. Like you said with those guys, Nolan, Gilly, um, and then even like the other guys, Chris Hodges and Gus do a great job in practice getting us ready for the game. So I think just the depth we have is tremendous and obviously it helps everyone else involved. You get another year. I mean, you're obviously not going to be thinking about that until the offseason, but yeah. knowing what you guys have done this year, does that kind of just bring you a little more joy or like, you know, something else, knowing that yeah. you can run it back with this group for another year? Yeah, no, um, even last year, knowing we had all, all of us coming back, we kind of knew what we had. And um, like you said, we want to go one game at a time this year, but even looking forward to next year, we might be able to bring everyone else back. So it's really exciting. Um, but it all goes back, like I said, um, comes to comes back to this year and game by game we want to want to finish what we started this year for sure. obviously we haven't seen Gus but what have you kind of taken away from him as a scout team player and yeah. the intensity he's brought there um he's very versatile he can almost play almost any, anyone scout with the, his ability to shoot it his footwork down low he's got great footwork and um he's a great teammate um he comes to practice every day ready to help us and then you see him on the bench he's always standing always cheering he's one of the loudest guys so he's a great teammate and he's really skilled too I know you're mainly matched up with Nolan. Have you had any one-on-ones with Gus, that kind oh, yeah. of thing? Those yeah, no, for sure. Um, when he's on scout, I'm almost guarding him every day, him and Chris. and um, Both those guys have done a great job, and um, it's really shown this year for the team. Talking about Nolan, what have you kind of seen from him, his growth, yeah. and more importantly, his confidence to shoot it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I tell him every game, whenever he's open, he's got to let it go because it, it looks pretty coming out of his hand. and um, We've seen that. See him uh, last game, he knocked down two, so he's been very confident. It's been good for us. Your three yourself, I mean, you, you haven't shot it maybe necessarily with the volume mm -hmm. uh, game by game, but I mean, it, the confidence seems there. Yeah. You're scoring inside, you're scoring outside. Yeah. Is there any decision making where because you're scoring more inside, mm -hmm. you're kind of more reluctant to score outside, or how do you kind of um, go about it? For me, I, I, it's not really a game playing going to the game. When I'm open and when I'm feeling it, I'm going to let it, let it go. But um, like you said, I've been inside a little bit more this year, trying to be effective in there. It goes back to your first question with finishing and trying to be more aggressive down low. But, um, yeah, when, I'm, when I have the open ones, I'll shoot them, and hopefully they keep dropping. Last one, I mean, something we spoke about earlier, pick and roll this year. Yeah. Um, I, like, there's been a, a bit more frequency with that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're extremely involved with that. How have you kind of... How's the team kind of involved in those pick and roll sets? Yeah. Um, and how have you guys kind of made that a staple of your offense now? I think just by working on it, repping it out in practice. We started way back in the summer with different offenses within that pick and roll offense. And um, uh, Kirk's came in and helped us a lot this year. So, And then I think it, it, it goes back to the team, the new guys we have and the guys that have come back from last year just comfortable with each other and running it. And it's really showing this year.